a screen recording to demonstrate how to populate a Wikiversity page with uh, general course outline stuff. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, Peter Shank's marvellous uh, little bit of programming called Training Packages Unpacked and it dips into the Australian National Training Information Service and draws the data out of their RTF documents and PDFs and the like and puts it into a more usable digital format uh, for us to do what we're about to do. So let's go into the Automotive Industry Manufacturing Package. And just for other viewers, like for example, obviously I get a lot of people from New Zealand reading this sort of stuff. The equivalent to this would be the national, uh, the New Zealand quality, uh, so, uh, the Australian, hang on, NZQA. I can never remember what NZQA stands for. Willie, do you know what NZQA stands for? I always forget. New Zealand Qualifications That's it. New Zealand Qualifications Authority. And on that site is the New Zealand uh, 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 quality uh, training, hang on, NZQF the framework and in there are statements of um, unit of competencies or, or, or our sta unit standards they call them. But anyway, this site here that Peter Shanks has put together is drawing from the equivalent site from the NZQA uh, uh, being the NTIS for in Australia. So we're looking at the automotive industry manufacturing package and let's see, create new product designs <coughs> As Peter said, it's a bit of a slow old server. He hopes to update it in the near future. Now, here is the create new product designs. This unit identifies competencies required to assist professional and other staff in planning design of new motor vehicles. So if we were to display a unit, we'd just see it in standard HTML. But then Peter's gone the next step further and made it available for Tiddly Wiki Code, Moodle uh, assessment template, which is quite interesting, and an evidence guide generator, keywords, XML. But the one we want because we're using Wikiversity uh, is MediaWiki. Oh, he's even updated it for Wikispaces, but we want MediaWiki. And that will bring us up a window that has all of the information that we need in there uh, about that particular unit and we simply copy paste all of that text. So if I copy it all, right clicking copy, now if we go off to Wikiversity and <coughs> I just can't remember what the uh, name of that unit was, I'll need that to name the wiki page, create new product designs. So let's think of a name for that in the Wikiversity page, I might just go um, um, Automobile <coughs> uh, create new product design. So I've just typed that title up there at the end of the URL. You could have done I could have done a search for such a thing and the search request would have come up with uh, the search would have come up with results but at the top of that res um, results page it would have listed uh, it would have given me the option to create the page if it doesn't already exist so it says uh, Wikiversity does not have an article with its exact name please search automobile create product okay, it's asking me to search start the uh, and then it's given me the option to start the automobile create new product design article so I think I'll do that Now it's taken me to the general edit field and that's where I paste what I copied. So I've just pasted that in and I'll save page. Okay, and so let's see what it now looks like. It's created us a um, contents thing. So create new product designs, unit descriptor, learning outcomes. Unfortunately though in this particular instance the unit descriptor has not come. And it, but it's given us, um, it looks like maybe this is more of an assessment guide but it is actually the unit description. So I've probably picked a bad example there but um, what it generally comes is all the information that would be normally presented in the PDF would be um, supplied there. Now if I click edit this page, a more manual way to do it than that pretty tricky and in this case not so successful uh, copy paste is uh, if I was looking at the uh, PDF or the Word document or whatever they're using to display the descriptions of the unit standards then I would take the title so we already have the title Automobile Create New Product Design and I'll just make this up the top of my head but 
one of the um, titles might be about automobiles and that would be just general information and notice I'm putting an equal sign either side of that that's making that a, um, a key title page that will be listed in the contents bar now a subtitle to that is double equals and um, let's say early period designs and let's say 20th century design and I might have completely the wrong end of the stick with the intended um, study of this topic but and another one is uh, futuristic design I'm putting double equals because they become sub subheadings to the key heading which is a single edit, um, single equals now another single edit, uh, edit single equal sign will create a new um, main heading and let's imagine I'm back at the um, unit standard description and I'm finding the next title and I've copied it and I'm pasting it in and it happens to be um, <laughs> tire design not sure if I spelled tire wrong right there but it doesn't matter and then subheadings to tire design so we call um, I don't know snow tires desert tires and race tires okay let's save that and see what the page now looks like so you can see that the key titles that I've put in about automobiles and tire design are present and then the subheading straight under them are there so it's quite an interesting way to uh, help you structure your um, course resource uh, based on the unit standards or the description of units and competency and then populate it with content from then on.